Welcome to the Mental Health in Black and White channel, where we demystify intricate mental health topics and simplify them for you. Hello everyone, I'm Zen the Zebra, and I am your host. Today, I want to guide you through what you can anticipate during your initial therapy appointment. Sometimes those first steps into therapy can feel intimidating and unknown. You might be wondering what it's really like. Well, I've got some notes and I'm here to share the experiences with you. To begin, when you decide to reach out to a therapist, you'll likely call their office and leave a message. Therapists are often in sessions with clients, so they can't always answer the phone right away. Don't worry, they'll get back to you. Once you've connected and scheduled an appointment, you'll typically be advised to arrive about 10 minutes early. This extra time allows you to fill out some necessary paperwork. Expect to provide basic information such as your name, address, and insurance details if applicable. You might also be asked about your reason for seeking therapy, any current medications, and when you last saw your doctor. It's similar to what you'd encounter at a doctor's office. Therapy sessions are generally scheduled for 50 minutes. This duration allows for a 10 minute buffer in case a session runs over or for therapists to jot down essential notes. Your therapist will kick off the session by asking you questions. They might inquire about what led you to therapy, the challenges you're facing, whether you've had prior therapy experiences, and aspects of your life like school, family, or work. The depth of these questions can vary depending on your comfort level. Some therapists take notes during sessions, while others prefer not to. If your therapist is taking notes, rest assured that they aren't keeping secrets from you. If you're curious about what they're writing, feel free to ask. Communication is essential in therapy, so you should always feel comfortable asking questions. Towards the end of the session, your therapist will discuss future appointments with you. Therapy sessions usually occur weekly and you'll need to pay at each session. This could be your co-payment if your therapist accepts insurance or through other means like Square, checks, or cash. It's essential to clarify the payment method with your therapist in advance to ensure a smooth experience. Finally, there's one crucial reminder. It's never as scary as you think. Therapists are just people too, and their primary goal is to help you. If you're hesitant about making that first call or feeling apprehensive about your first session, remember that therapists are genuinely friendly and compassionate individuals. It's okay to explore different therapists until you find the one you genuinely connect with. In conclusion, therapy can be an immensely beneficial experience and taking the first step is often the hardest part. Don't let fear hold you back. Therapists are here to support you on your journey to better mental health. If you've been through this process or are currently seeing a therapist, please share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Your input can be invaluable to others considering therapy. If you found this straightforward guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to grab our free mental health journal to assist you during your therapy sessions and with any other mental health concerns you have. Thank you for tuning in and remember, Wherever you are in your mental health journey, we're here with you. Until next time, bye for now.